Yeah, seven's up. Seven's up. Seven's up. Thank you, Ness Coat. Uh, if you're on, if you're on Facebook, come on over here to Caffeine. The link is in the description. Look at this shit, y'all. How city girls are injecting ratchet womanism into a male-dominated field. Wait, wait, wait. What? Uh, Tim eighty four said JT from City Girls was hit. They fixed her up. Nice. Miss E T says so. It's like now, and they want to embrace the name. Women MCs share one thing in common, whether it's consciously or not. They craft stories through a womanist perspective. You see, I believe so. Written by a doctor, a, a woman doctor. First of all, that's not womanism. That's not womanist. What it is is actually masculine. It's actually turning a woman masculine, right? Because guys, we want to like fuck bitches and move on. Right? Like, we don't have feelings involved, right? Like, we just want, we want to have a bunch of bitches. You feel me? We trick on hoes, da 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 da, that kind of stuff, right? Like, that's our thing, right? So, but what's happening is these women are rapping as if they're men. Like, oh, I just get a bag, fuck these niggas, he eat my pussy, da da da, I'm out of here, da 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 da. You feel me? And so they, they don't, they're not sounding like real women. Cause real women, let's be honest, real women, fuck a feminist i'm talking about black women i know black women black women want a man okay they just want one man they don't want they don't want a roster of men they don't want that shit they want one man they're gonna drive that nigga crazy <laughs> you know what I'm saying? all right in the midst of a hot girl summer of 2019, Jermaine Dupri heated things up when, in a television uh, interview, he described Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, and Nicki Minaj as strippers rapping. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm not the only one. It's for sure stripper culture. I'm not getting into who's the best, he continued, as far as rap goes. Needless to say, his comments didn't sit well with women in seats. First of all, Cardi, you you were a stripper. What the fuck you talk? What you mad at when you was a stripper? You was a stripper. You make no you make no shame about it. It is stripper culture. First of all, I rap about my pussy because she's my best friend. Well, okay, that's like obviously you're speaking like you know what I'm saying esoterically because I hope you have a best friend. That's another thing, guys. Yo, hey, just real shit. Like, I never dated a girl who say, I don't get along with girls. I don't date them chicks, dog. Stay away from them chicks. Stay away from them. Like, they be like, I don't have no girlfriends. Like, fuck them. Fuck all that. There's a reason why she ain't got no girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, she posted on her Instagram. And second of all, it's because it seems like that. Wait, first of all. And second of all, it's because it seems like that's what people want to hear. In a, in a two-part video on the platform, she shouted out some of the women killing the game right now. Tierra Whack. I never heard. Oh, Tierra Whack, Chica, Kamaya, and Rhapsody. Now, Rhapsody, she's straight. She's not a stripper rapper. But she's not making Cardi B money, though. You know what I'm saying? That's what she's not doing, my nigga. Here, let's look at Rhapsody. Let's look at all the sisters that she just named. Okay, like Rhapsody is like a real rapper. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, no, no, I don't want the H. The H is uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Images. Let's look at the sister here. Yeah, look, she's just she's a she's a real she now she's a real black woman. Fuck all that. She's a real black woman, dog. This is a real black woman right here. Okay. No stripper. This is a good. This is a. This is this is great. I like this. You feel me? But she not making the bread though. You feel me? Rhapsody. She and she raps good too. Look at look how beautiful she is. Chocolate skin sister. That's right. Am I not? Am I not live? Oh shit. Like check one two. You 
Mind check one, two, one, two. Hey, refresh the screen, guys. Man, I don't know why caffeine does that to me, man. They straight, they shut me down, dog. You know what I'm saying? I start, I start talking and I start, I start cracking. And then next thing you know, like, I'm just talking to myself. This shit is crazy, huh? <clears throat> Sorry about that, man. I, I, I don't know why that shit does that. So, damn, I had a lot of people here, man. Fuck. Shit is so whack. Trying to wait for people to come back. It's his core sets to no more sets. No more sets. I'm waiting for people to come back, man, but oh well. I guess people will come in on their own account. All right, as I as I continue. So, uh so as as we continue here, uh we're talking about the ratchet women takeover of hip hop, uh uh the stripper influence, how rap went into the strip club, how the strippers are rapping and now how the little girls in the street are acting like strippers. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's like going full circle out in this bitch. All right, so I was reading this article right here, right? And it talked about, it says, uh, this article is uh, is from Billboard. Or let me flip it over so you guys can see. This article is from Billboard, and it's stating, it says, how the city girls injected ratchet womanism into a male-dominated field. All right, so... See All right, any which way. So, uh, so yeah, and then so, and then, and then the article spoke spoke on uh Cardi B not liking how Jermaine du Dupree called it like, like basically stripper stripper rappers stripper rapping. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's happening. And so she was like, she said in a two part video on the platform, she shouted out women who are so called killing the game. She said Tierra Watt, Chica, Kamaya, and Rhapsody. So as we look at Rhapsody, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, is she really killing the game? She's a beautiful sister. She's a great rapper, but is she really killing the game? You know what I'm saying? Is she really like, does she got Grammys? Is she talking to uh, Bernie Sanders and motherfucking uh, uh, Joe, uh, uh, Joe Biden? No. All right, let's look up Tierra Whack. First of all, you're going to have to change your name, but whatever. Let's look up Tierra Whack. Let's see, is she killing the game? I never heard of her. You see, like these girls right here, like, okay, see, I like it. I like it how she has her clothes on and she's respectable, right? Okay, she looks she looks pretty here. She has her clothes on and she's respectable, right? And she could probably rap really well. Tim eight oh four says she could rap well, but guess what? She's not so called killing the game, okay? Like Cardi B. So, but Cardi B, she said it. She goes, she goes. Second of all, it's because it seems like that because that's what people want to hear. So, but she's naming like like Il, I know Il Camille, like Tierra Whack, Chica Kamai, and Rhapsody. But guess what? Ain't nobody checking for her. Ain't nobody checking for these sisters. Ain't nobody talking about, and like, yeah, they can rap well, but that's just like underground rappers, nigga. Like, battle rappers can rap well. Ain't nobody checking for them niggas neither. We already know how that shit go. This is a beautiful chocolate sister, right? But she got her clothes on. She got her clothes on. You feel me? It's the, it's the stripper culture. It's the it's, it's those who, okay, she's big too. She got the newbie shit going on. All right, that's what's up. Anyway, so uh, yeah, man. So th those those are the sisters. Cardi B says, "Shout out to those girls." Well, well, then won't you do songs with them? Won't you make them sisters pop? You know what I'm saying? Let's just be let's be honest. Like these, like they're not popping, dude. They're not selling. Anyway, and called on radio DJs, bloggers, and journalists to show them more love. Okay, well she uh, see. So Cardi B is like, please show them more love because guess what? It's the stripper cultures that are these girls can wrap their asses off. She said, so don't blame uh, don't blame that on us when y'all not the ones who are supporting them. 
First of all, dope rappers never get love anyway, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the underground rappers, like Mos Def and, and Talib Kweli and shit, them niggas never sell as much as like, you know what I'm saying, the dope dealers anyway. You feel me? This may have seemed like beef of the week at the time, but Cardi and Jermaine's comments revealed a perennial issue. The ways in which a male dominated genre has long viewed and marketed female rappers when a multiplicity of ways, where am I? Right here. To do MCing as a woman, a long tradition of delivering dope rhymes through a bunch of different styles, myriad of styles exist. Some reach hot 100 success, others do not. But women MCs do share one thing in common. They craft stories through a womanist perspective. Now remember, Black women don't need to do what things through a womanist perspective. Okay? Let's understand that for a second. Womanist, like any, like womanist and feminist, that is for European or so-called white women. Okay? The feminist movement is uh, 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 the white woman being mad at her man. Sisters don't have the same issue because we don't, in America, we don't have the same power as, as, as the white man has. Not yet, at least. In her 1983 collective In Search of Our Mother's Gardens, Pulitzer winner Alice Walker describes a social philosophy of womanism, detailing that womanist is to feminist what purple is to lavender. Yeah, we don't need feminist adjacent. We don't need that. You know what I'm saying? It's not feminist. It's stripper. It's ratchet. Like, like ratchet and feminist is not the same. I be damned. You see, Billboard, what Billboard has to understand is like the subculture or the black culture, right? We're talking about our uh our children. You know what I'm saying? To Billboard, they just talk about trends that they see. You know what I'm saying? Like us brothers, we have to live with these women and try to approach them and have babies with these women, dog. Anyway. When the first seeds of hip-hop culture were planted and when black women were dealing with the brunt of socioeconomic duress, racial discrimination, gender oppression, and generational breakdowns in the black family. Wow, that is true. Generational breakdowns in the black family. You see, that's what happened when the, when the women went feminist. You know what I'm saying? Around that same time, when, 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 when our black family broke down generationally, it was, in, it was the 1960s and the 70s. When feminism uh, uh, was on the rise. At that point, feminism focused on gender equality, but still a solid family core. You see, no, that's not right. That's not true. You see, you see, feminism, feminism and a solid family core are, are they don't exist at the same place at the same time. They're not rapping about empowerment, consciousness, except for uh, Rhapsody, said Derek, the editor. Yo, what sort of editing do you do, brother? Video editing? What sort of editing do you do, brother? Final Cut Pro, shit like that? Uh, you do, uh, uh, anyway, primarily appeal to the need of upper middle to upper middle class white women and offer little room to address racial politics. Womanists, on the other hand, according to Walker, who have developed a framework over many years is to begin with a black feminist or feminist of color. You see, we're, we're not with the black feminists. Yo, the black feminists. Okay, let me tell you something. Something else. All right, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. He he told us to read the Monaghan Report. And so we did a show one day and we read the Monaghan Report. The Monaghan Report basically showed the breakdown of the black family over the years. And what happened was those like, so the Monaghan Report basically spoke about how the black family was broken down. That's all it did. It was, it was a it was a synopsis. Guess who had a problem with the Monaghan report? Black feminists and the 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 black Illuminati or 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 what they call the uh, the boule. It was the black feminists and the boule and the homosexuals. That's who had a problem with it. All right, shout out to you, brother. That's great. Good for you. More specifically, she's concerned with gender equality. What the fuck? Do you really think City Girls is concerned about gender equality? Are you, you got me fucked up? Are you, are you really shitting on me? What the fuck are you talking about? More specifically, she is concerned with gender equality. She balances the concern with those related to race, class, sexuality, and generational traumas. Yo, yo, Meg the Stallion don't give a fuck about none of that. They talking about eat my pussy, get the bag. 
Basically, we don't have no feelings for these niggas. Keep it moving. They're, they're basically sounding like young men. They're basically sounding like young men, but as grown ass women. The woman is a female center, but culturally oriented towards knowledge of self. These bitches ain't got no knowledge of self. What are you talking about? Community centered? What? What? These, yo, these girls are, these girls are baby, like baby mamas at best. They're not wives, dog. They're not community centered. And loves women equally to men, sexually and non sexually. She appreciates the culture. Oh, you know what? This, this may be right, but this does not ex express city girls. Look, all right, for those that don't know, look, it started here. Hot, how hot, how city girls are injecting ratchet womenism. How can you, ha how can you have womenism and then ratchetness? You see, ra you see, those are diametrically opposite. Ratchet is not womanism. Ratchet behavior is ghetto-ness. Ratchet behavior is causing confusion. Ratchetness is, is no shame. When, when, you, when you're bringing private things to public affairs, ratchetness is low class. That's what ratchetness is. It's not community centered. It's not, it's not politically motivated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have knowledge itself. And it's very sexual. Derek said they're perpetuating stereotypes. Within the broader idea of womanism, a new perspective is called ratchet womanism has emerged. Ratchet has its roots in Louisiana. Anthony Mandingo, Due to Ratchet in 1999 and Little Boosie's uh, 2004 remix popular popularized the term to evoke joy and fun in a song and dance. And ultimately became a term used by black Southern community to resist respectability norms. Ghetto shit, ratchet, ghetto. Walker, who's from South Georgia, offered a prelude to the ratchet womenist identity in 1979, which she described as characteristic as willful, courageous, and outrageous behavior. Yo, first of all, we have to stop normalizing. Our, uh, see, th the problem is, is our black women are out of control. Okay? That's the problem. Let's just be for real. Our black women are out of control and I'm not going to normalize their behavior. That shit is not okay. I'm not going to sit around and wax poetic and, and, and be, and be a uh, 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 pontificate, you know what I'm saying? And mental masturbate over what labels were given them. No, they're out of control. The sisters need a, 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 a father in their life. They need some elders in their life. This shit is like, this shit is not good. <laughs> like, like, fuck all that. Meanwhile, these people that are like, like these, these doctors and billboard, they like, we see these girls are our sisters and our mothers. And like, we have to deal with this ratchet shit to them. It's just, oh, oh, it's a new wave of hip hop. Ratchet is to resist any policing or judgment of the ways in which uh, pleasure, pain and hustles are expressed. No, ratchetness, ratchetness is a uh, single womanism. It is it's very single womanism. I don't have to listen to what you say. I'm going to do it my way, even though it's wrong, even though it's ugly and deplorable. I'm going to do it anyway. That's what ratchet is. Fuck all that. Like, hold on, man. Let's see, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to. Uh... Nah, let's go to. Uh... God, dude, ratchet is in the regular. Oh no, ratchet. Okay, yeah, if you ratchet things up. Okay, I want Urban Dictionary. Okay, Urban Dictionary, ratchet. Damn, my internet's fast. Okay, simply summarized by a ghetto bitch who thinks she look good or is all that hot Cheeto girl, ghetto girl, bitch, dude, uh, uh, douche, douche may exhibit some of these attitude, smart mouth. Can be childish, rude, crude, obnoxious, unruly, disrespectful, right? They, uh, right? Annoys people. Uh, uh, can be mean, cruel, manipulative, deceitful, right? I'm not about to turn ratchet into a good thing, dog. I don't know what you're talking about. Indirect, uh, 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 direct aggression, wanting to fight over nothing, always beefing with other ratchet females, drama, messy, finds it cute to be rude, mean, or spiteful. That's right. That's ratchetness. Oh yeah, ratchet. Yeah, nigga, so ratchet is a good too. Would you say it continues to threaten the black community? Absolutely. 
the, it's because our women, our women are, is the black community. Like, right. Our women, like without a stable woman, we're not going to have a stable family and without a stable family. We're not going to have a stable nation or community. Absolutely, dude. I'm not about to turn this shit into like, oh, that's like empowerment. No, it's not. No, it's not. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. That's ratchet behavior. That's not, it's not a good thing, dog. Lip smacking, long nails and eyelashes. Snapchat stories are toxic waste fills. Might be dumb as fuck. Like all that shit is great definitions of what ratchet is, dog. That's not, it's not a good thing, dog. What are they talking about? You know what I'm saying? What are they talking about? The fuck are they talking about? Ratchet uh, uh, encourages women and girls of colors to stand out no matter where they are from. Resist any policing or judgment of the ways. No, 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 no. No, what are we talking about? Consider an example, Queen Latifah's Lady First, arguably hip-hop's first womanist anthem. Ladies first, ladies first. That shit was cool. MC Light. Somebody was talking about MC Light. There we go. Listen to MC Light's I Cram to Understand You. A love letter to her boo who fell victim to crack cocaine during the drug war. Oh, that's fantastic. Those women are absolutely not ratchet. No, but what they're saying is these are womanist. No, 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 no. See, see that white liberal, what they want to do is they want to like assume their struggle is our struggle. Like the problem is, is see the problem, see what happens when they do that whole black feminist thing. That's when they separate the black man from the black woman talking about you have different needs in your man. No, we got the same needs. Okay. Men, the men need jobs so they can be better men, so they can help take care of the family, so they can be better to the women. Our needs are not separate. So when they start doing this uh, feminism, black feminism thing, that's when they that's when they begin to separate us. You know what I'm saying? Dodge the hijack. Dodge that's a hijack. Dodge it. Fuck all that feminism shit. Fuck all it. Fuck it all. We don't need it. It does, it does no good to our community. None. Think of Beyonce's verse on Black Effect when she says, I pull up like the Freedom Riders, hop out on Rodeo, stunt with your curls, your lips, Sarah Bartman hips. Y'all know who Sarah Bartman is, right? Through the lens of ratchet womenism, there is room for the fast-paced lyrical boasting of MC Chirac uh, and the high-pitched assaults of Roxanne Shante. Fuck Yo, I'm on, my, I'm on my shit. Fuck ratchet womanism. Let me tell you, let me tell you what ratchet womanism is. Let me show you what it looks like. Let me show you all I got to do. Let me show you what ratchet womanism looks like. When it runs amok, when, when, when ratchetness runs amok in, in, in our uh, community. Let me just show you. Watch all I got to do. Let's see. Let me, how do, how do I go to search? Okay, right here. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down. So far, so good. But yeah, my feed is not as ratchet as it used to be, man. I, start, I try to clean my shit up. My shit is a lot cleaner. Yeah, my shit's a lot cleaner. Yeah, see, I got this shit going on. But yeah, any which way, I'll show you. I'll show you. Like, we know what it is. What's that girl's name? Uh, uh, what's that? Sukaya? What's her name? Sukia? Sukaya? Sikiana? What's her name? Yeah, here she is. This, this is Ratchet. Let me show you Ratchet. This is not womenism. This is not womenist. <laughs> okay? This is not womenist. This is stripper culture. This is strip it ra ratchet. This is stripper ratchet. It's stripper ratchet. That's not that's not womenism. Okay? Now, you know what I'm saying? Like You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not I'm not saying it's is it's, it's like, you know what I'm saying, the worst thing ever, but it's not 
it's not uh you see see the problem is is the society we live in y'all it's like it's not balanced it's not balanced like this shit is okay we all got lower self desires right you know what i'm saying we all have sexual desires you know, which is fine. But the problem is, is that's the only thing pushed to our females, though. Like, like the Rapocity and like them other chicks, we don't see them. They're like, we don't see them. All we see is this shit. Always look, the stripper is now the rapper. Cardi B was a stripper. What's she mad at? She was a stripper. Look, boo tonight, child. And so happy Sookie with the good coochie is back in Atlanta. yeah other, other cultures like look at this shit like this shit right here like these like excuse my language but these bitches are the ones rapping now okay now these bitches are the ones rapping like that's what happened you feel me what happened was these were just like these were just like 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 objects in a rap video these were objects in a rap video right that a young man could jack off to but what happened is it's like oh wow like it sells for them to like rap so a bunch of niggas got these chicks in a studio like okay you're fine niggas like you you feel me like okay rap like we're gonna write your lyrics you know what i'm saying we're gonna make your beats we're gonna craft your image and like i'm gonna sell you like a prostitute this is not i'm sorry this is not uh 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 like like so you mean to tell me like this shit is uh i mean it's it, it is what it is it's stripper shit i mean it just is what it is over 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 sexualized this is not this is not feminism Yo, 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 yo. You see all of these females? Why where is the man? Like 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 where where did this shit happen? Where where is the man? Or like at the end of the day, like are you like like that they used to be, remember when Luke when Luke was was like it would be men out there, nigga, like what I Look, it's a freestyle and it's just like it's all bitches. It's all bitches, dog. Yeah, this is not ladies first or her unity. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but see what what you see what, what these liberals, what they're trying to do is they're trying, they're trying to change shit around to make it seem like, yeah, black women, this is what you should do. This is ratchet womenism. This is this is feminism. This is good. No, I'm not, we're, we're not gonna do that. It's stripper culture. That's all it is. Good, bad, or good, bad, or indifferent. You know what I'm saying? It exists. You know what I'm saying? It, it exists. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, that's it. But it's just like, but like, these are the only chicks that are winning. Like I just be tripping about like where are the men? I mean I'm not saying because I like men I want to see men, but like the object of being sexual is to be sexual to the opposite sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like we used to enjoy being twerked on. Wow, Banner Banner says these are the same ones who was complaining about being sexually objectified. Well done. All right. Excuse me. So yeah, so this is ratchet. This is ratchet womanism. Like this is like she has her inside. She's showing the insides for the world, right? Like right now, she's showing her. She's showing her most privateness. She's showing her most private for the entire world for their consumption. It's for sale. She's selling her pussy. Like, how does this affect our young girls, dog? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's girls out there that like that are susceptible to this kind of shit. You feel me? This is uh yeah okay. So let let me do city girls. Let, let's let's just go through them, man. So what else? So city girls. Who's next? Juneteenth, <laughs> the fuck you, got, the fuck you got these chicks at Juneteenth like this. Okay, stripper culture. All right, this outfit right here, 
this outfit right here is stripper culture because this is what strippers would wear. But when they would come on stage, only fans is goals now. Wow. Uh, that was a comment from Banner. You see? Look at all these poor girls. You feel me? These poor girls, like, they just want to be the next. Look, look at it. Like, fuck, fuck this European. Look at look at the, like, these girls, though. Like, like all these little, like, these, these impressionable, like, black females and others around. You feel me? Oh, yeah, the bonnets. I'm off that shit. Yeah, that nigga need to turn around and, you know what I'm saying? That nigga need to turn around. It's, it's like, nigga, a whole bunch of beautiful women behind him. Nigga, nigga better turn around, nigga. <laughs> that nigga, fuck, on the, fuck the music. <laughs> and nigga, uh, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, for, for, this, this, it's weird. This shit is weird, dude. What am, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? This is weird, dude. This is weird. I'm looking at a European. Is he gay? Like, what am I looking at? Where's the black men? Is this, is it's like, like in this cut right here, I don't see no men. It's just all girls. And I'm seeing this European boy around all these black women. Wow. That shit is just like, it's just, he's, he's like a character or something. City girls. Nigga, what? Any nigga in the sound of my voice listen to city girls that know the lyrics like that nigga would know the lyrics? <laughs> nigga, please, bro. Look at stripper culture. What you mean this is not stripper culture? The fuck are you talking about? Nigga, this is all stripper culture. She's literally on a stripper pole. It's hoes, hoes, like literal hoes, like selling pussy, like literally selling it. But, but look, you see, you don't see rap, you don't see raposity, you know what I'm saying? And all them other sisters at Coachella, right? She talking about, shout out to all of them, you know, cause Cardi B, she feel bad. She know, she know that, that raposity and Queen Latifah and MC Light wouldn't get, like if, if, if MC Light came out today, wouldn't nobody fuck with her? If Mia X came out today, it's all Sarah Bartman. You gotta, you gotta be on your Sarah Bartman shit. Uh, let's see what else. The, the New Orleans trap rap of Mia X can coexist with the rugged rawness of Lady of Rage. The magnetic scene rapping of Lauren Hill with the bad bitch demands of Miami's Trina. You see, there was a balance back then. It was a balance. You dig what I'm saying? Lady of Rage, great MC. She was respectful. You feel me? Mia X, right? But then at the same time, you had Lauren Hill. Then you had bad bitches. You had, you had, you know what I'm saying? Plastic, plastic bad bitches like Trina. You had gangsta boo. That's right. That's right. It was a spectrum. This shit now is like all the same. All of these bitches are the same, dog. Look. All reveal a spectrum of intersectionalities that women MCs express across geography. Anyway, and City Girls is the latest act to put their spin on ratchet womanism. I please hope you're not telling me that Lauren Hill is ratchet womanism. I hope you're not telling me that Queen Latifah is ratchet womanism. Oh, we have another one. Young Miami. Let's look at Young Miami. Carice. Oh, no, 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 no. Those are city girls. All right. So Young Miami and JT are two under 30 women uh, from Miami. In just a couple of years, they amassed a generation of followers through features and that encourage young women to boss up on opportunities. Really? Is that what you're calling it? Boss up on opportunities and embrace the power of their sexuality in an ecosystem dominated by men. No, it's to sell their pussy. Excuse my language. It's it, that's all it is. It's prostitute music. Opportunities. All that's all it is, dude. Yeah, see, you see, they're they're, they're trying to wax poetic and try to you know what I'm saying pontificate. You know what I'm saying? 
Just listen to where the bag at a raunchy, rebellious anthem that reinforces the lesson that a man is still required to financially compliment a woman who has her own money, house, or car. First of all, it's, it's all fucked up. No, 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 no. That's not how it goes. No. It, yeah, it says a man is required financially to compliment a woman who has her own money, house, or car. That's not how it worked. How it worked was I I give you my money and you're my woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like you have your own money and then I got to give you money. Like, no, I bring money to the table. You bring your femininity to the table and we have now we're together. Right? I bring home the bacon. Now it's like you oh uh, you got a financial required to compliment a woman. No, it's no, it's to buy a bag. What are you talking about? They putting spin on this shit. They're putting spin on it. It's to buy like these chicks is like buy a Birkin bag, buy a Birkin bag, buy a Birkin bag. To compliment a woman who has her own money, house, or car. You see, first of all, all that independent black woman shit, fuck these sisters up. You know what I'm saying? Independent black women. And I'm independent. I'm independent. I'm independent. But but you not. You want government assistance. Or you're depending on, you know what I'm saying? But like, no, it's not like jump on your opportunities. Oh yeah, there was a there was an opportunity to be an angel investor in a in a company. That's what she's rapping about. <laughs> like, like, no, she's not. Like, no, she's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> opportunities, financial opportunities. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, they are regulated black men to utility, says Derek. Yo, and what it is, is it, it made our, it made the relationship between a black man and female transactional. It literally makes it transactional. All these chop shop bodies literally dying for vanity, says Banner 00. Flinttown says they can't cook. With their lyrical focus on sex and money, it would be easy to passively categorize city girls the way Dupree did with Cardi B and Megan. <laughs> no, it's true. Cardi B is a stripper. Like, 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 like she literally is a stripper. City girls is is got the strip the, the city the, that's their image is stripper. He is not wrong for categorizing it as stripper rappers. That's what it is. But that would be entirely that would entirely discount how their ratchet womanist perspective, balanced by their sense of sisterhood, sets them up to be a landmark multifaceted group in a long history of women MCs. Get the fuck out of here yo I'm, I'm gonna send this video to this person who wrote this shit i swear to god who is this you you're capping dude you're capping dr joycelyn wilson i bet you like it sounds like she's european huh who is this person yeah yeah that's right it it, it would be toxic masculinity it sure would be the fuck what are we what are we doing dude what, what, what you're doing is you're you're normalizing ratchet behavior like you're basically the jerry springer show that's what the jerry springer show did uh she's an assistant professor of hip-hop studies at the black media studies cohort school of literature at Ivan Allen College. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that shit ain't nothing. Jocelyn Williams, Ivan Allen's College of Liberal Arts. Here to go to sister right here. Here, here go email address. I am going to send this to you, sister. You are going to get this. Like, no, 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 no. Matter of fact, I'm going to invite you on to the show. I'm going to invite you on the show. That's not how it works, sister. No, 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 no. You're normalizing. You're Jerry Springer. I'm I'm actually here to say that like we need you. We need you. Like you're you're the you you might be the feminist more so than than uh them. You know what I'm saying? Your sister, you're the one that's a doctor. You're the one that's, you know what I'm saying, got the big words. Like we need you out there. Fuck the ratchet bitches. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I got respect for you.
Real shit. Real shit. Fuck are you talking about? You're normalizing it for Billboard. You know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's actually detrimental to our community. All right. As we continue. Oh, I'm at the end. It's been 30 years since Salt and Pepper did something similar. 30 years. Oh, come on. Salt, salt and Pepper was nothing like this. I'm hopeful that as a culture moves into a new decade, women in seas will gain more, like them, will gain more opportunities to enjoy their careers and elevate other women. Oh, my God. This is so, okay. So you really think this is elevating other women? This is elevating other women. You seriously think this is elevating other women? You know what? Women work too hard for, 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 for them to be objectified like this. Black women have come a long way. Like for you just to say, oh, we're acting like a, a prostitute is object that, that's that's pro women. That's right. That's ratchet is good. No, it's not. No, it's not. Matter of fact, my wife, she be saying that like she be saying like this shit is all cap though. Like these ladies, they rap like like uh they rap like 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 they get in a bag and fuck these niggas or whatever, whatever. But these bitches got men. These these bitches is out here cooking and cleaning and booed up. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You know what I'm saying? They they rapping like 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 it's all, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like they out here doing that, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like they they not, you know what I mean? They not living that shit. That's that's how my wife feels, honestly. It's like a lot of these girls are not writing their own lyrics. Well, let me just, what are they saying? This group of lyricists isn't vital simply because they're showing respect to their female forebearers. They are harbingers for the kind of visibility women in a genre rarely receive. Oh, really? The kind of visibility they rarely receive? So you mean to tell me dressed up as a stripper so, I, so we could jack off to them? That's something that we rarely see? That's why, are you serious? God, I can't like I can't believe it's like like these these smart people are going so far like they're contorting their body so weird to make it to to normalize it right it's almost like it's so, okay how will I normalize that 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 school killing that just happened oh well you know it's really an expression of gun ownership which is the second amendment you so so when you when you grab the gun and you go to a, a school you're really pushing education because you're trying to show education with 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 a gun because a gun represents no 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 there's no there's no making sense of this shit Pop locking, you know what I'm saying? Out here contortionist. 